International companies are unknowingly funding North Korea's military machine. While North Korea has historically used forced labor to generate millions of dollars to fund both their nuclear and ballistic missile programs, they are now taking advantage of advancements in technology and the reliance of international companies on remote workers to gain even more funds. North Korean workers are using AI deepfakes and other methods to conceal their true identities and gain remote jobs as IT workers at companies around the world, threatening nearly every industry that hires remote talent. Treasury is cracking down on these efforts. They recently sanctioned multiple individuals, an IT company, and a North Korean bank responsible for these schemes. Treasury should continue to apply pressure on the people and organizations that are responsible for carrying out these scams, especially in foreign nations like China and Russia that host and enable the North Korean efforts. Washington should also work with victim companies to understand the threat and share that information throughout the private sector so that everyone is prepared to defend themselves against these types of scams. Doing so will help reduce the amount of money going towards North Korea's military efforts. Thank you.